Hi Taurus, it's July already. It is July 1st today, 2023. Let's see what your tarot cards are today, what you should be aware of. I'm just going to shuffle two more times, Taurus. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? Alright Taurus, let's see what your tarot cards are. The first card you have is the Seven of Cups. I want to make sure you guys can see all the cards. And then you have the Ace of Swords. I'm seeing you gaining some clarity of mind here Taurus. You have the Chariot, so you may um, have cancer in your life. The chariot is cancer energy. And then you have the two of coins. Yeah, something's... There's a decision that you need to make here. Getting a very busy energy. The king of swords. And then the Knight of Wands. If, if things have been feeling stagnant, they're not going to be for much longer. Things are speeding up here. And then you have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Coins. And you have the Page of Coins. kind of like you're trying to come up with an idea here. You're looking at different options with the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, spirits. Feeling like someone feels like they're stuck. You could feel like there's a lack of coins here. The Nine of Coins is in reverse. Like a lack of money, a lack of confidence. And then you have the King of Pentacles, wow, and the Queen of Pentacles. There's someone here in your life that is supposed to be in your life. They're here for a reason. The King and Queen of Pentacles, it, um, it almost feels like a fairy tale. But why is this Nine of Pentacles here in reverse? Why is there so much confusion? Why is the Nine of Coins in reverse? Someone feels stuck. They feel like there's a lack of money. This is not my wish fulfillment. Let's keep going and see what's going to happen here. Because I see you going, feeling like you're stuck in your mind. Repeating thoughts. A lot of confusion. And there's someone here that is in your energy field, in your life, that is supposed to be here. I'm seeing something very successful here in your energy, Taurus. There was a some type of victory there was some type of um celebration with the three of cups see now you have the two of cups you have the king the queen of pentacles the two of cups you have love A lot of success. You may be dealing with a Pisces, 
but I'm feeling like something has went from feeling stuck to looking at the bigger picture and there's a victory and success in this connection and there's this energy here of moving forward very quickly with whoever this person is in your energy. Whoa, there's so much of a conflict here. You have the devil. You might be dealing with Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. I feel like someone here that you're dealing with is up in their head about this connection with the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini. It's like someone here wants you to recognize them. They want you to notice them. This person is obsessed obsessed with you with the devil here there's someone here that waits for you waits to hear from you and I'm feeling like you're moving ahead it's like you're very busy and you're probably not thinking about this person very often Why is the two of pentacles here? Because you're you're juggling already. You have a lot going on, Taurus. Why is the two of pentacles here? Five of cups. To this person, you appear to be on again, off again. And this person feels lonely. They feel sad. They feel like... um. There's not enough communication here. This person feels like you're a bit cold, whoever you're dealing with. And I, I'm feeling like there's... I don't know what that noise is, you guys. There's like this screeching in the background. And so I'm hoping it's not... I'm hoping it's not coming through on the microphone. But, I mean, I'm seeing an argument taking place here. And it could involve several different people with the Five of Wands. And it could change things between you and this person. This person's going to... It's almost like they're, they're trying to manipulate you to to feel like they are gone but they're really not I can't I think this person thinks they're being smart they're trying to get your attention they want you to recognize them and they keep obsessively thinking about you and they feel very sad and they're fighting an inner battle here and they're just trying to manipulate the situation. Even though these two cups are standing up here, like everything's fine, everything's okay. And then the Eight of Wands is a very fast energy. Why is the Eight of Wands here? So this is messages, communication going back and forth, maybe someone traveling. See, so look at this person. Um, do not pay attention to the gender, just like I always tell you guys. This person might be at a distance from you. Again, I'm seeing someone here that wants you to recognize them. I feel like this person tries really hard to look good. But there's almost like a manipulation going on. 
they could be at a distance from you but they stand here and they wait for your messages messages are a big deal to this person and i'm seeing a tower coming down something that you're not expecting why is the tower here this is a messenger could be dealing with a libra this person just keeps thinking about you this could be an ex that's feeling like this very heartbroken tell me about the tower you guys are picking up on a past person again ten of coins this could have been someone that you were married to or there is a marriage here sharing a home together a twin flame soul connection someone that feels very very connected to you and I'm also seeing something that you're doing money wise um wow that's all I got to say is you do have a message coming in and it has to do with your money for someone here where there is this huge success that I can't even put into words here I mean and you may feel like you're broke right now but there is a huge manifestation that you're doing that you're creating that you're gonna I feel like you are gonna have it all why is the king of swords here yeah somebody loves you tell me about this wheel of fortune this could be a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio This person keeps some type of secret. They keep something to themselves. You have the high priestess here in the moon. And what they keep to themselves, I feel like, is this person's very, very much in their feelings about you. I feel like this person worries about you judging them in some way. something here is going to change okay this person's love for you it's i i'm getting like an unconditional love and ad, this person completely admires you but something here i feel like is getting ready to change there's something new a new opportunity a new job for someone Tell me, tell me specifically about what we need to know about this Wheel of Fortune, Spirits. Yeah, a new beginning. And it's going to be different for all of you. This is Aries Energy, the Fool. But I'm seeing you starting something new here. And with you showing up with the Knight of Wands Energy, it's time to get to work. It's time to get busy. This is your future energy. I feel like you're going to be very busy here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Seven of Swords. But here we go again. There's, there's someone here that is sneaky. They could live in your home with you. There's something here about a home or a marriage. And... They're holding back. They could be holding back money. But this is a deceiving energy here with the Seven of Swords. It's like they're looking over their shoulder. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords.
there may be an age difference between you and this person but I I'm feeling like someone might try to sell you a lie they might tell you um you know that there is you know like there's a huge thing here with the ace of pentacles and it could be financially and so then i'm seeing the two of you sitting on the couch together here watching tv together feeling really happy like a celebration taking place with the three of cups Could even invite people over. And then you have the Ten of Wands, Justice, and the Empress. And then something here is going to be revealed. A lie. Someone has lied. Someone has not t told the truth about something. You have the Empress here. This is your energy, Taurus. Um... And I'm seeing something being revealed to you here. The truth being revealed. You have justice. And it could have something to do with finances. But the Ten of Wands is here. It's going to be a difficult truth to hear. And I don't like readings like this. But this is what is happening here. So I'm seeing someone someone here you're going to feel like you were betrayed why is the ten of swords here this person might tell you they quit their job there could be something involving money here this person's very good at staying in control of their emotions and um i feel like they're missing the point like this person's going to miss some type of an opportunity here and you have the world in reverse so there's unfinished business there's something here that you need to take care of with whoever this is why is the world here in reverse six of swords there's no moving on there's no ending Scorpio energy. This person feels stuck. You could have... This could be someone that you have no communication with. You could have blocked communication with this person. And you sitting on the couch there could very well be with someone else. Take things as they resonate. Because I'm picking up a lot of messages here. But let's see what spirits are trying to tell us in this reading. Because there's a strong message trying to come through. The five of coins here can be a lack of money. Or feeling ghosted. Feeling left out in the cold. Why is the five of coins here? Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Capricorn are strong here. Okay, so somebody here is showing up like they, like they are bigger than what they are. And I don't know what that means because there's something here about someone wearing a false mask with the devil energy showing up. 
and this person showing their face as a king when they're really a page and it could have something to do with money with the seven of coins here Like this person could say they have some type of an investment or they could say they have a new job. A lot of a lot of this is about money for someone. So they could, you know. They're tied to something here. This could be their past. There's this this person is tied up with something here that they don't want you to see, but this is being revealed. There could be a couple of children here. They feel really bad because it's like they told you a lie. They were deceiving you. It's like they made a promise. Why is the page of coins here? I feel like this person made a promise they can't keep and now they're feeling very defensive. And it's about this Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles is a big deal. It's something that the two of you may have celebrated together there could have been a reconciliation that has taken place here. But then there's someone walking away into something new. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. There could be a third party involved. Strength. Leo energy with strength. This is so frustrating. I'm feeling very frustrated. Like someone's going to be very, very frustrated. The king and the queen of cups. Moving along very, very slowly here. It's like this person's very defensive. There's a lot of water here, like a lot of emotions involved, Taurus, with whoever you're dealing with. And I'm seeing messages turn into action. Let's go through the signs and see what this person wants to say to you. We're going to start with the air signs. If you're dealing if you are thinking of an Aries. What does Aries want to say to Taurus? I replay our conversations over and over. Leo. I want to tell you so much. Sagittarius, I'm so attracted to you. Okay, let's go with air signs. Aquarius, my life is not as together as it seems. Libra, I lost myself for a little while. Gemini, I bury myself and work to forget you. And let's go with earth signs. Taurus, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. If you're dealing with another Taurus. Virgo, I regret, I regret lying to you. And Capricorn, you speak to me through music. Pisces, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Cancer, 
I fantasize about you. Scorpio. I knew exactly what I was doing. All right, Taurus. Um, let's um, get your angel answer cards. Ask your angels a question. And we'll choose number one, number two, or number three, like we always do. So here's number one, number two, number three. All right. You rem remember, you can choose more than one angel answer card. If you choose number one, you're being told to compromise. If you chose number two, it's up to you. And number three, let go. Okay. And um, let's get your advice from the universe, Taurus. Spirits. Advice for Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? You have last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. New moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Let's get one more Taurus. Full moon in Taurus, detoxify. And on the bottom of the deck, full moon in Gemini, embrace the flow of life. All right, Pisces. I mean, not Pisces. Someone's dealing with a Pisces. All right, Taurus. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe. And for all of your beautiful comments. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Take care of you. Namaste.